SES teachers, how you doing? This is uh, Coach Scott, and I'm really making this for Germantown High School, but anybody could use this. But, uh, you know, we're, we're sort of like in a crisis right now, and we're going to have to transition quickly to online learning to keep our kids engaged and involved. And a lot of my kids, we started doing a little session today. They're getting very, very, very bored of playing games and watching Netflix. And so we need to keep them busy. We need to keep them learning. Uh, uh, you know, we still got a couple more weeks. So um, I got a suggestion from one of my fellow teachers that I make a video about how to use something that is available to all of us uh, with SES, and that is Teams. And Teams is like Google Classroom. I think it's a lot more powerful, right? So uh, what we want to do in order to get Teams going I like going to Edge of Goodies, so I'm gonna to go to Edge of Goodies first. There's me, so you can see me. And uh, if you go to Edge of Goodies, first thing you've got to do is sign in into your uh, into your email, right? Your uh, office.com email. So we can go ahead and click that Office 365 portal, and we come up, and we go we go to the online versions of Teams. So you can click this and it's available for download for your, and it's probably already downloaded on your SAS computer. I'm on my Mac because uh, I make videos for my kids and this is something I do for them. But you come on up and it's going to pop open, right? Eventually, that's this thing in the world. Another way of doing this is I've already downloaded, okay, here we come. Um, yeah. goes yes so you come up under the teams thing right and uh, um, so we're going to look at some things right and let's go ahead and we'll do a test team so uh, if we're going to create a team we're going to click down here it says join a and I'm going to create a team and you can see you this there's a lot of value to this you can have a class which is what I'm using it for my kids. You could have a PLC, which would take the would be an online PLC for your your folks, right? Staff, a school administrator can set this up. You can even set up for a club, but we'll have set up staff, right? We'll call it test one. Um, yeah, you can put an option in there if you wanted to. But you do that and you create your team, and then you got to add kids to it. Now, luckily, SES, thank you, Dr. Ray and Dr. Whitelaw and Dr. Burt. Ooh, why did I slow down there? Don't know. A little lag. We're good. Uh, but it's creating the team. Is that every one of our students can get this, right? So, uh, and, and how they do it, and I'll have to show you, how, I'll show you too, how they, how they can get their SES password going on. So, um, type in a number. Okay. All right, so you see your different kids there. They're, uh, a kid's password is going to be, um, is their student number at student.sesk12.org. Right, but you got to get those on there, and we do. All right, but uh, we'll go into my other test team. I just set one up already. So here I can, if you notice in your in your in your team or your class, okay, I can upload class material, and that could be a um, a word document, all right, which they have access to for free. It could be a PDF document, an Excel, what have you. All right. Okay, it can be anything you want to add up there. You just hit click. Boom. Those are some of the things you can do. Class notebook, that is notebook, Microsoft notebook. And they can add stuff to there underneath their names. You can grade it, what have you, what have you. The most powerful thing about um, Teams, in my opinion, is you can have an online session with your folks, right? You can have an online session at any time and invite your whole class there and we do that by hitting this button here meet now all right all right and I did and I'll try and show a um, there you go okay okay so it's turning it on but I had 
six of those today. And most of the kids really enjoyed it because, well, they are have been locked up. And that's what it will look like whenever you get your team meeting. Get meet now and you can see things. You can go through a PowerPoint. It's a lot of help and a lot of use, uh, a lot of useful um, uh, properties to this app. And I highly encourage all of my fellow teachers to use it. It is really, really, really good. Uh, now again, let's so some of the things we can do if we were going to meet now. Let's go ahead and meet, meet now and I can write on it. So the um, sweet thing about it is we can add things to it while we're meeting with our, or with our kids, like I can put different PowerPoints, so on and so forth. And this is also a very powerful movement. This is the whiteboard, all right? And you can have whiteboard up here. And with whiteboard, if you're on an iPad or I've got a Wacom bamboo tablet type thing, you can write up here. So again, their password is student number. You can see my handwriting is atrocious. Student number. At student, and that's important. Okay, and you're going to have to tell your kids somehow how to do this at dot ses k12 just like ours dot org okay and their password is going to be the birth date which would be month day and they get to change it after they sign in and their four digit year of their birthday be it 2000 one, two, three, four, whatever we're up to now. And then they can download all those apps um, into their computer or device. The thing is with this, you have to sign into a computer first and then uh, after they get access their, their internet, they're good and they're ready to go. Again, I highly encourage using this. It's going to really help us out with online instruction. And yeah, so, um, Anyway, this is a Coach Scott at Germantown High School saying, let's do right by our kids. Uh, we we got to love them. We got to do what we can do. And we got to do everything we can show that we were caring about them in this crisis. Talk to you guys later.